Hey guys, uh, my name is The Dan, and I want to take an opportunity today to take you through a very simple, fast, fairly risk-free scav run on Lighthouse. Uh, you don't have to shoot anything, you don't have to be an aimbot, uh, you don't have to get your shots right. This is a peaceful, fast, rapid run through the industrial zone, the, the basically the rogue territory of Lighthouse, and I recommend doing it at night. I think it's going to be far more successful, lower risk at night. Uh, I'm going to take you through a couple runs on fast forward. I'm going to try to show you the map here and, and look at the uh, na how you would navigate this route through. And uh, depending on where you spawn, you know, I'll try to give you some conditions of like, you know, different spawns. You should look for different things. Uh, but once you do this a few times and you can begin to memorize the spots to look in the dark, you're going to find that your survival rate is very high. Uh, just a couple things about Lighthouse. The loot is broken right now. It may change in the future, but if they're going to keep spawning loot at this rate, this high quality in this in a small area, you should just be running this nonstop if you need money uh, because it is high survival, low risk, um, very fast, 15 minutes or less, and you should be out. All right, so uh, sit right there. Uh, if you enjoy this content, uh, leave me a comment, a like, or a subscribe. I would appreciate it. And uh, as always, would love your questions or feedback in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Goal here, 15 minutes to get through the rogue base and, and maximize the industrial loot. Uh, you may spawn anywhere on the map, but 90% of the time you're going to spawn south of the rogue base. Uh, most of the time you're going to have less than 20 minutes, usually less than 16 minutes. So if you have more time or you're somewhere else, this does not apply. I'm going to go for the 90% of the time that you don't have that much time. Your job is to get up to the village, okay? So if you're south... Loot whatever you want if you have extra time. If you don't, just book it to the village. We're going to check three things before we enter the rogue base. Three loot spawns. And then everything else is going to be loot spawn. Uh, and then from there, our job is just to get to the uh, industrial zone gate scav extract. Check that you have that. If you have good scav karma, you should have that every time. We're going to use that gate all the time. So uh, let us let me show you this, what this is going to look like. Uh, using this map here, no matter where you spawn, your job is to get to the industrial, or I'm, I'm sorry, to get to this village. So, so look down at the bottom of the map here. Here's village right here. You're going to start here. Now, what you're going to do when you get here is you're checking two things. You're checking the second floor of this building for the ace of spawn by the printer guitar. Then we're coming to streamer house here, checking the second floor in the computer room. Uh, for the high-tech spawn. Then we're coming past the first bridge, right before the second bridge. We're going to veer off. We're going to check the van trunk. Then from the van trunk, we're going to get into the base on the road, always avoiding entering the base over here. We never want to enter the base right here. That's instant aggro as a scav. They will kill you. Everyone will kill you. You cannot do that. You're going to run this uh, scav route in the dark, in the middle of night. It's going to be the safest time to do it. Uh, but it's going to take a while to get your bearings when you typically don't have a light on your scav. And so I'm going to run you through this path both on the map, and then I'm going to show it to you in an offline PMC raid during the daytime so you can see the mapping, see the boxes and stuff that you're going to check. And then I'm going to run you through some fast-forwarded versions of the same raid with my scav over and over just so you can watch it happen sort of in that nighttime setting. And hopefully it'll be really easy to create just a little path pattern for you to do in 10 to 15 minutes, know exactly where to check and what to check, make you a ton of money. We're going to come in here, 15 minutes, and I'm going to walk you through this path. It's going to look like this. We're going to check spawns here. We're going to take the road in. We're going to hop over this. We're going to loot right here. We're going to yeet across to the tents, through the tents, over through these tents right here. We're going to double back through these tents, check all the boxes. We're going to pop in here. We're going to check a loot spawn here. We're going to check a loot spawn here. We're going to get into this base. We're going to run this base, come out of this base, back into the rogue base, around this guy, through this tent right here. From here, through the door in the wall, right into rogue uh, north, checking all the racks here, racks here, racks here, all the boxes here, here, here. If we have time, we're popping in, checking the top row here and the big tech spawn here. And that is it right out the gate and to our extract just like that under 15 minutes 300 to 500 thousand rubles per raid we're going to learn how to do it in the dark so that you can do it without any lights it keeps you safer and gets you out faster when i spawn usually you can spawn south of the uh rogue base right somewhere and you don't have the time to check 
everything when you're at the south end uh, of the rogue base. You want to get into the rogue base. That's where all the all the loot's going to be at. Uh, there are two things that, to me, as long as I have 12 minutes, they're worth checking even before I get there. Two spots. Now, there are lots of good loot spots on this map. I just want to show you the two that really, really matter, okay, for me. I run into this two-story house, and I check right around this bag. So right around this bag, this printer area on the floor, uh, you're going to find an Asa or high-tech loot chance right there. Uh, could be any sort of high-value item. Asa is probably the most common. I'm, there's other loot in that building. There's good loot in that building. I'm not telling you don't loot that. What I'm telling you is I'm going to design this run on... 12 to 15 minutes on the clock. Now, if you have 30 minutes on the clock, you can loot the High Chalet. I'll show you that in another video. Uh, you can loot all this whole village. Uh, if you spawn north of the, the camp, you can actually get tons of great loot in that train yard if you're early. If you're late, it might be picked clean. Uh, most commonly, when you scab Lighthouse, you're going to get somewhere between 12 and 20 minutes on the clock. You're going to spawn south of the base. That's the two common denominators. So you're going to check. You're going to run into this village. You can check what I just showed you. You're going to check this. I call this streamer house. We're only checking one spawn here. We're coming upstairs, checking the streamer room here on the left. By this computer, right here or on that box. This in this case, it's a military cable. Uh, but I've pulled multiple graphics cards from right here on one of these three little spots. Loose loot spawn. Very high value tech spawn. Graphic cards more common than you'd think be checking that and we're out we're done now on our way into the rogue base we're going to check one thing before we get into the rogue base uh we're going to check the van in the water because there is a bitcoin spawn in the trunk of the van underwater so we're going to check that and then what it is it's in between these two bridges so you got bridge number one here and you got bridge two over here and in between the two bridges in the water you're going to find a van that has a bitcoin spawn it can be a roller uh can be a gp coin uh, but we're going to check that, and then we're going to get in the rogue base. Now, if I have under 12 minutes, which is fine, very rare, you have only that amount of time, it's possible. If I have under 12, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and um, skip some of these, right? I, I want to get in the base. Uh, so right before the, the second bridge, I'm going to come over here to the right of this rock. This van, you're gonna, you, it can be anywhere on the ground over here, right? You see the different spots, but very commonly, it's going to be in here. And so there it is right there. There's the roller. Okay. Quick warning, everything you see with grass over here has mines in it. Maybe not everything. Enough of it that I've died there. When you come in, you're going to come over. There's an industrial spawn usually on this area or this. So, so right here, usually, there's an industrial spawn, military tubes, things like that. Turn this off. You're going to check that box. This box has been broken. I don't know if they're going to patch this box. I've found multiple things in here that I can't pick up. So we'll see. Maybe Battlestate fixes it. Jump can get a little funny, so save your stam. Come over here. There we go. You're going to have a fuel spawn right here. Blue fuel there a lot. We're always checking the broken down boxes. This is a big case right here. You're going to do this all at night, right? So we're memorizing this at night. Uh, tech spawn down here can be higher end items down here. Not always checking real quick here. Here we're gonna so just so I, where we came in right there. I jumped over. We looted this real quick. We're immediately we're skipping running over there. Right, that's where the gun emplacements are. And inside here. This spawn right here, I found multiple Bitcoins in this box. You're always going to check this box, checking for good ammo, checking in, and then we're looking. Right here on this tool, uh, these uh, tool chests or whatever, there are really high value spawns. Letties, VPXs, Koftums, uh, Bitcoins, rollers. No, I said Letties. <laughs> rollers. Uh, you're not going to find a Letics there that I know of. I don't think it's in the loot table.
two boxes you need to check. This box, you're looking for the white dot. There it is, iridium. And then the one up here on the right. And then here, nothing there. This route, I will show you again on the map. Make a hard left so you don't hit that bar wire. You don't need to make the noise. Two boxes, we're checking this box. There we go, and we're checking this. Oh, what, 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 what? And a Bitcoin. Okay, we're doing good, right? Think about this, we're eight minutes into uh, running this thing so far. We've already found some pretty high value loot in these spawns. Now, coming in here, most of the good stuff's here. There is a weapon box. If you have time, there's a weapon box. Here, the two good spawn. What do we have here? Second Bitcoin. All right. Uh, and a bulb. Sometimes that's VPXs. It's a lot of military hardware down there. And then we're going to come up and we're going to run this line right here. What do we got? The wrench. Yep. We want that ratchet. Uh, again, if you're tight, don't do it. Now, here's here's where we, we deviate from a lot of things that I've seen. I'm going to go back in the base, okay? I'm not going around because I want loot in the base. So I'm coming out, taking a hard right. Going to regain stam because I'm jumping over this thing and I need enough stam for a double jump. All right, and then there's a door right here. Now this is where it gets funny, because we're gonna probably, most raids, rogues are still gonna be alive. There's gonna be four to six of them right here. And they're not gonna aggro you. I'm gonna run in, and we're checking the bottoms of the cases and the, oh, boxes. Oh, it's just wires. Faked me out. Checking here, there's a helix. Nope, 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 uh, negative, okay. Then we're coming over, what was that? Uh, TP200, yeah, we want that. There we go. We're coming across over here. Don't hit that fire, you will burn. Checking these four spawns here. There's a condensed milk. You'll sometimes get sugar down here. Oh, felt like. Almost done with this building. I don't even run up to the next ones. I'm just going to look at the tops of these boxes. They spawn stuff here. There's a propane, elite plier, red pliers. All right, almost done. Probably in our 15 minute raid down to three minutes max now. Not much time. So we're gonna do a very, very cursory move here. Now, if we had time, I could go through the rest of the boxes here. Uh, I could check all kinds of stuff. Uh, might find a number of good things. I'm just looking at the pallets. If I have no time, there's only one thing I have to check here. Get to this pathway. That's a hose, we don't need it. And it's at the end of this pathway there is a high tech spawn in this box right here. And GP coin. It can be a graphics card, it can be a Bitcoin, it can be other things. Now, there's more in this building. Not a ton more, but potentially loose loot spawns. I'm probably out of time. I'm going to come right here as the scav, walk up here, extract under 15 minutes, and I'm going to have ended with this, this, right? Military cable, fuel conditioner, ratchet, roller, double Bitcoin, fuel, iridium, right? In 15 minutes, and you can just do this over and over again at night when no one can see you. Alrighty. Okay.
Ace of Spawn. Up, right, right, and check by the printer. No aces. And then we're going to get on into industrial. This late is rare you're going to find anything in here. Because people check it now. They know where to go. But it never hurts. By the way, I don't know if you well, you probably haven't seen this. You, you said you didn't play this much. Right here, if you have the time, I just want to show you this real fast. For, in between the first and the second bridge, there's a van. And under the water in the van is a box. And in this box spawns bitcoins. I like to check this industrial spawn right here, but it has been hit. I get stuck on it. Uh, fuel, no fuel. This box has been really good to me right here. Hmm. This looks like it's been hit. Oh, blue fuel. Take that. Take before you find. Oh, Coftum. Coftum's a good find. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just missed something. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't need that. Gonna check these two boxes on the outside real quick. A couple of these normal items have definitely been hit. Oh, here we go. D fuel. HP. Ooh. Military cable. A uh, motor? Do you want a motor? Okay. There's, it's just in the bottom corner, first floor. I bet somebody aggroed these guys. It might might be uh, over for me right now.
minute 30. I'm going to make it with five seconds to spare. See what we got. Blue Fuel, Asa, Fire Steel, uh, Sewing Kit, Assorted Nuts and Bolts, and Nails, Poxerum, all these are good vendor items. A Coftum, a Military Cable, and uh, a couple attachments that are worth taking and vendoring. All right. Here we go. Where did we spawn? Always fun to figure that out in the middle of the night in the rain. But I wonder if, oh, I do. I have a flashlight. How cool is that? East 310. More nades. Spicy fighting. This is the house we're going to. Come on, nothing, nothing at all. Try to be quieter because somebody is clapping rogues right now. Always checking that box. Always checking that box.
Those are all dead. Been more. It's not enough. There's one. Well, got fortunate at that time. Ran into some dead rogues. Uh, ran into a dead player scav who pushed his luck with too much stuff. But we'll take it. We will take it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I hope you're making lots of loot off of it. Uh, that you're able to memorize this route. Make it your own. Customize it. Find the things that you like. If you enjoyed this content, um, you can always give us a like, a comment below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do an event weekly called Mo Money Mondays on Twitch. You can follow me there, and we talk about different ways to make money, make loot, uh, barters, hideout stuff, all sorts of things. Uh, and we have a great Discord called Full Control. You can come hang out, play Tarkov in. Anyways, enjoy. Until next time, see you later.